evening guys this is Mal. welcome back to my youtube channel sorry to break in between the series of bedroom lighting design we were discussing but the topic today is very very important i'm sure that you're going to find this tutorial very useful in your any upcoming projects today we'll be discussing about how to reduce the file size of this sketchup of course when we reduce the sketchup file size even the 3d model which we are exporting from this x sketchup the file size of that one is also going to be reduced okay many a times we import so many sketchup models in our dialogues evo so today through this tutorial i'm going to share few of the you know few of the learnings which i learned myself and uh, maybe this is going to make your life easier while handling the sketchup files okay let's get started to start with i have considered a sample sketchup model of a chair okay here you can see this file armchair single okay it is of 11 mb okay let me just check the properties it's 11.3 mb right okay let's make a copy of this file Control c Control v okay uh, why why i'm making a copy of this because um, later i want to check the file size that's the reason i'm making a copy okay now open the file the 3d model is visible now um, ask your file is open first thing the very first tip here is okay go to window model info check for statistics and uh, make sure this one is selected show nested components make sure this is selected okay then go for purge unused click on this okay click again if you want and save your file that's it okay now we'll just close this file and now check the file size okay see our first file it was of 11 mb okay now the copied file i made a copy of it it's of 6 mb okay it's of 6 mb right so first thing whenever you receive a sketchup 3d model of a building or a landscape or you directly you know download the sketchup 3d models from 3d warehouse first thing what you do is just unpurge it right? okay what this does is this really does not uh, you know uh, decrease the file size of the our exported 3d file 3d object okay but what it does is it really decreases drastically decreases the file size of the sketchup so when you reduce the file size of sketchup handling of the sketchup files becomes easy you know sometimes your file is so heavy that you can't even move the cursor of your mouse right do this step and your file size is going to reduce drastically okay that was your that was our first step now second step is let's open the file again okay here uh, we are going to use one extension called skimp okay skimp skimp is basically one plugin which helps in reducing the polygon size of your 3d models okay i'll show you the link of, to download this extension okay this is a page of skimp skimp for sketchup.com you can try it for free you get a five days free trial and then if you find this you know you're daily using the sketchup then you can also purchase it it's worth purchasing okay so here trial license how you're going to download this add the trial versions add to cart okay you have to provide your email id and a uh, few details like name and uh, yeah name a software key will be sent to your email id then you have to go for your sketchup extensions extension manager and here you know skim it is enabled or if you want to install the extension you have to click here okay and it will get installed i think they have uh, installation instructions and they also have a video on how to install it so you can check out that uh, we are going to now see how actually this works okay 
once it is installed you have this tab here okay next you have to just select the object and you click on the second option here simplify selection click this one okay when you click this one you can see the geometry of this object you know see the geometry of this it is clearly visible and in SketchUp the geometry is considered as faces okay but when we export the SketchUp model in .3D format it becomes triangles okay that we will uh, that I will show you when I'm exporting the 3D model now now what we need to do okay now all the geometry is visible details are visible when you click on simplify model okay it has a scale here a manual scale you have to increase this if you want to reduce the number of faces you know how much I'm going to the last of the scale you can see the 3D model number of faces is getting decrease you can also see the count here okay it is 4370 previously it was around 29170 29170 okay so how much i'm reducing that much poly polygon size is getting reduced okay so let me just make it up to 50 percent hardly 50 percent and click on replace replace then it will show you this new dialog box purge unused components to reduce the file size say yes close this zoom extends check for the units of the model window model info units it's already in meters so we need not do anything okay before exporting into .3ds file let me just close it and check the file size now file size have been you know still more reduced it is now 3 MB open again reduce the poly size still more further now total faces is 14528 we can make it say we'll make it 10,000 okay replace yes close this zoom extends save the file now file export 3d model now look at this information 10 sketchup entities processed okay so i told you earlier that sketchup the 3d models are in faces it is built in faces so we have 10492 faces the same is getting converted as 3ds files we are converting into 3ds files so it is getting converted as triangles okay that's how the geometry in 3ds files are okay so the same amount or maybe sometimes it gets little higher amount of triangles get converted because of some instances or maybe edges or anything okay now we'll just close this file we have our 3ds file let's check the file size of this it's only 433 kb imagine the file size when we download the sketchup model it was of 11 mb file now the exported 3d model it's not even 1 mb file so you can see the difference let's import this object in our dialogs model i have made a simple room here okay file import and our 3d model seems to be perfect properly placed yes it's perfect isn't it it's one mb file but still you can see the textures the form everything is nice though we have reduced the poly size i can't find any major changes in the 3d model okay so if you reduce you know maximum number of poly size sometimes you know that triangles type is visible on the 3d model so reduce the polygon size but you know make sure your 3d model doesn't get too much you know too much affected by reducing the poly size okay now let's check for other sketchup model as well 
okay something which is more heavier in size than this chair and which we often import in our interiors okay that is sofa okay let me show you the 3d model for i'll just make a copy of this one we open the file this is 18 mb 3d model i'm sure many of you have you know seen such high mb 3d models or would like to import such 3d models in your dialogues our first step is to unpurge right window model info statistics make sure this is selected purge unused save it close the file now you see the file size it has reduced exactly half of the size okay it was 18 mb now it's 6 mb it's 6.64 mb we are going to further reduce it open the file when you are simplifying the model it should be in groups okay so now this sofa is in one group okay and then if i export it the cushions will be single separate groups either you can explode this model and decrease the file size of each and everything or you can make it a whole group and decrease it let's check out by keeping it in one single group without exploding this object okay go to this simplify selection select this new dialog box appears now total number of faces is 40,000 okay with this one i'm going to reduce the number of faces you can see here the number of triangles the geometry there's a difference in the geometry let us reduce it 50 percent replace yes close this that was our first step now we can even explode this okay after exploding your each object be becomes one group like this question is one one separate groups so separately two you can you know reduce the poly size say select one and then go for simplify here one single question has 2240 faces we can reduce it to you can see the difference in the number of poly size in this selected object okay make sure you're not overdoing it reduce it but not much replace yes okay let's do the same for this one polygon size for all objects save it close the file now check the mb it's 1 mb okay it's 2 mb 1.78 mb but still we have reduced the file size from 18 mb to 2 mb that's that's a lot okay control all make group before exporting window model info check the units it is in meters fine file export our 3d model is exporter you can see it's only 16,000 polygons or the triangles okay close the file save the changes now let's check our sofa properties even this 3d model is not even 1 mb file size can you imagine that let's import it in our dialogues file import so far 3d that looks really nice from the top view itself let's check it in the 3d oh my god that's amazing isn't it can see the file it's really amazing 
you know this texture are also proper just pick the texture and check yeah it's proper i don't want the legs of the sofa to be so glossy so i'll make it metallic and replace material that looks perfect isn't it let's do one thing let's check how this models are going to look when i do some lighting for now let me just add some down light this is not designing it's just to check if our 3d models are proper even after calculation and rendering seems good let's do a quick render wow that's nice you know the 3d model is really nice even after render okay this is going to be really useful in your next projects now time for a pro tip using the same extension you can even replace the material of your 3d model properly you know with the proper scaling how does it happen you know when we replace the texture in in our dialogues for the 3d models now this is you know this is properly scaled and properly placed when i export or replace the material sometimes you know the texture is broken not properly placed in the alignment of the 3d object okay for that too we have the solution in the same extension okay for example i don't want this texture of the sofa i want something other texture maybe say i want some velvet fabric or some other fabric let's check some fabrics select anything of your choice from here let me select this one okay because this has more pattern in it save image oh it's actually a web file then let me select some other texture maybe this one save image save now go to your 3d model go for replace texture tool okay then press control key on your laptop you can see a small plus sign on that uh, paint bucket click on your 3d model okay and you have textures here this is the texture we selected click on here and you can see our texture is properly placed right let's check it out with other texture some other fabric maybe this one save image go to this tool press ctrl key that's amazing isn't it properly placed textures let's export this model file file import furniture file copy one this is our next chair we'll make sure it's properly positioned this looks amazing isn't it a quick calculation and a quick render So this is it guys in this tutorial I really hope the the things which we discussed today are really helpful for you and it's going to be you know so much of time saving for you in your next projects If you found this video helpful please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you